Good morning, everybody. It's Rob Moffitt. Guys, this is a do-it-yourself channel, and today we're going to have a do-it-yourself arterial plaque test, ABI ankle brachial index test. This is information I got from Dr. Ford Brewer, one of my favorite doctors on YouTube. I watch him a lot. I'm subscribed. I recommend everybody go to his channel. I'm going to leave a link in the video description. He's got a great video on this morning on how you can do your own do-it-yourself test. I'm going to show you what happened when I took the test. Now, the reason you want to do this is plaque, according to the good doctor, is the major cause of heart attack, stroke, and Alzheimer's. If you throw in doctor mistakes, that's like the top four things that are going to kill you um, when you get to be my age. So there's different things you can do. Had he says in the video that like a stress test. Well, I had a stress test this year, but he said, you know what, a stress test that only shows like if you have 50% or more plaque in your arteries. If you have less than that, um, it doesn't show up. And over 60 some percent of people who die of a heart attack have less than 50% uh, plaque in their arteries. So stress test is great, but it it doesn't. It's not. It's not. <laughs> You a lot of sixty three percent of the people who die from heart attack would have passed the stress test. So you know that shows you right there. So there's other things you can do, and one of these down here at the bottom is an ABI test. We're going to be doing. It's an ankle brachial index. Now there's there's drawbacks to this. He goes over in his video, which I want you to watch. I'm going to leave a link to his video. But it's very helpful. You're just going to need a pressure cuff, or you can use the type the doctor uses that wraps around your arm. But this is the type I use. It goes over my wrist, and you also want to have it go over your ankle. You're going to do three tests. So lie in your bed for five minutes or a flat surface. Measure arm pressure, then your ankle pressure. Do it three times, then get an average. Now, when you're done, you're going to have something that looks like 116 over 69. That was for my arm. I got 148 over 67 for my ankle. The top number is your systolic number. The bottom number is your diastolic number. All you're going to be interested in is your top number. Now, your ankle number, you're going to divide that by your arm number. So my ankle number was 148 over 67. My arm was 116 over 69. So I divided 148 by 116. I got 1.28. So what does that tell us? If you have a high number, more than 1.4, it could indicate hardening of arteries. And the, in, the, the literature indicates you should see a specialist. Now, if you get 1 to 1 1.4, which I did in between those two numbers, you have a normal reading. Now, if you get a little bit lower number, it's acceptable, like 0 0.9. But if you get below 0.9, it indicates some arterial disease and on down the line to where you have severe arterial disease. And like I said, if you get higher than 1.4, it could be hardening of the arteries. So those are the numbers you want to look out for. Now, there's I'll leave another link to a video I saw going over in more detail about some of the reasons that the uh, ABI test has some drawbacks to it. Dr. Brewer does go over in his video some of the drawbacks. So... It's, it's not universal, it's not perfect. What it is, it's something you could do on your own in your house for almost nothing. So long as you have a blood pressure cuff and Lord knows why you don't have one. They're like 30 bucks and you can keep monitoring your blood pressure all the time. I've tested mine when I go into my doctor's office and to make sure it's similar to what he has, his reading, and it works fine. They're very inexpensive. So this is something you can do on your own. You could do a ABI test and you can uh, sort of get an idea of what your arterial health is. So I thought this was fascinating. It's very inexpensive, very low cost, very low tech. It's something anybody can do in the privacy of their own home. Or if you do want to have it private, you could invite the neighbors over. <laughs> Alright guys, go check out Dr. Brewer's channel. I'm going to leave a link to his video. And I'll also leave a link to where some other people have went over in more detail uh, about some of the drawbacks for the test. And hope you're uh, not only prepping for different things 
that can happen in nature and uh, and community but also prepping for your health and watching out for a uh, heart attack and stroke and cancer and uh, medical errors <laughs> All right guys take care see you out there <music>